All right, we love bears, so we're keeping our tabs on them. Uh, there's been another sighting of a black bear uh, in the DMV. First spotted in a residential area in Rockville. It is believed to be the same bear hours later spotted in Potomac. Gwen Talbert joins me now. Uh, Gwen, I, when you hear bear, you get a little concerned. Do we know exactly where these bears were <laughs> yes. spotted? What kind of bear it is? What kind of information do we have here? Well, it was definitely a black bear. Now, pretty quiet here in this residential neighborhood in Rockville. And I want to tell you where we are right now is actually at Bent Pine Court at Crestview. This is just one of four locations that were reported as sightings as to where this black bear uh, bear was early this morning, the first time being at approximately around 6 o'clock in the morning when it was first spotted and calls started coming in to the Rockville City Police uh, and Animal Control Neighborhood Services Department. Now, some of the neighbors here said that they were not really very unnerved by it, but just the fact that there was a bear in their neighborhood so close with people out walking dogs and children being around, they kind of thought twice about why is this even happening here in their neighborhoods. We spoke with one of the neighbors who mentioned that some of his friends had alerted him to the fact that they saw on Twitter that there was a bear in his yard, and he was in a little bit of disbelief. His name is Max Papier, and here's what he had to say. Take it was crazy. I was on the bus. People were telling me, dude, dude, there were bears in your backyard or there was a bear in your backyard. And I thought they were joking until I saw the image. I realized it was true. There was a bear just right there. And it was it's startling to even think that there was like something that dangerous just right outside our house. And, you know, being right outside his house, actually the fence right along his house yard actually straddled the fence where the bear was actually roaming around. We've got some video to show you. Take a look. The bear actually uh, just kind of was mirandering its way along into the neighborhoods. And as it was, it walked through one backyard to another near a pool area. And along that pool area, that is the fence that straddles Max Max's backyard. And that was uh, near the Sunrise and uh, Kersey area there. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of quiet out there. There wasn't a lot happening, but the bear actually climbed a fence <laughs> and ended up in a tree in another neighboring backyard, just staying within that whole perimeter. And there, one of the neighbors Lucy Hung told us that she heard a noise on her back porch, and when she looked, she actually saw this black furry creature out there. Her dog chased it, and when her dog chased it, that's when it ended up uh, being up in a tree in her backyard. She said she was a little bit frightened by that. She originally thought that, as I said, it was just her cat on her back porch until she realized it was much bigger than her cat. She feared for her dog, but her dog just uh, seemed to bark at it and really didn't bother too much other than that. That. But the bear, undaunted, just kind of stayed up in the tree and uh, and didn't do much more. Uh, earlier today, also, we spoke to a representative from the uh, Rockville Police Department Animal Control Division, and here's what he had to say. Take a listen. Yes, it was seen up here in the Horizon Hill area, and it was also seen down in the Seven Locks area near uh, Goya and Greenleaf. And where do you think it's gone now? Well, they're mostly nocturnal, so it'll move around at night and early morning looking for food. Right now, it's probably bedded down somewhere in some woods. And if someone were to see this bear, what should they do? Just leave it alone and go away. Do not approach it. Don't try to feed it. It's a smaller bear, so it looks, I mean, some people have called it a cub, but it's, it's a one to two year old bear that's out on its own. Just leave it alone. So that's very good advice. Just leave it alone. Uh, he also said the good news is it wasn't a brown bear, which are much more dangerous and more aggressive. Back to you. Look out for those bears. Can you imagine no. Rockville now? I know. You really Man. have to look up in the trees these days for bears. And especially <laughs> when you're walking. Words. I walk my dog in the evening. You have yeah. to be careful, you yeah. know. Absolutely. All right. Look out for those bears.